Veterans Affairs is the second largest federal agency and it has been plagued with major problems and scandals for years. In 2014, then VA Secretary Eric Shinseki resigned after stories emerged about long wait lines at VA centers resulting in delayed treatment and in some cases death. More recently, a bipartisan group of senators called for an investigation into the agency, which serves 9 million military veterans each year. Joining us now is Secretary of Veterans Affairs, David Shulkin. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Glad to be here. The Senate unanimously confirmed you 100 to 0. And this week, President Trump tweeted that you are making great progress and won't rest until the care of our veterans is taken care of. Is he setting expectations too high? Well, I think that's the job of the president to set high expectations, particularly about issues like caring for veterans that he feels so deeply about. And we have a lot of work to do. We're dealing with decades of problems that have existed in, in the Veterans Affairs, and it's going to take us a while to get this department straightened out. Just last month, you released your end-of-year statement talking about the accomplishments that you've made. And I'm curious about this one line where you say that you have ensured that vets get same-day access to primary and mental health facilities at all of our care facilities. Yet if you go to Google News, every day you will find stories about vets not being able to get same-day access. What's the discrepancy? Well, what we have assured is that if a veteran has an urgent care need, that if there's a problem that would result in harm to a veteran by waiting, that they should not be waiting, that they can come right to any of our VA facilities in our primary care or mental health areas, and they will get their problems taken care of that day, and that's our commitment to them. Some of our elective services, while waiting for routine physical exams or a screening colonoscopy may take longer than we want. We're focused right now to make sure that veterans aren't harmed by being by weight. Sure. The other thing, though, that you're seeing is that veterans still are dying, and there's a lot of reports in the news media. They're dying waiting for care. How are you addressing that issue? Well, we don't believe that veterans are dying waiting for care. This was a situation that was back in April 2014 that was a national crisis and unacceptable and certainly my top commitment to make sure that there aren't veterans that are being harmed by weights. That's why we've established these same day services that are available. Uh, if veterans aren't able to get that care, then we send them out into the private sector. You say that veterans' trust scores in this end of your letter mm -hmm. rose from 46 percent in 2014 to 70 percent. Mm -hmm. and that that seems like a, a huge jump in the time um, mm -hmm. that of this national since this national crisis. The New York Times just reported that a veterans hospital in Oregon is attempting to limit the number of patients it admits to improve its quality of care rating. And USA Today is reporting that the VA is hiring doctors with revoked medical licenses. How can the veterans trust the care that they are getting at the VA facilities? There's no doubt that in the crisis in 2014, the wait time crisis, that we lost the trust of veterans and many Americans in the public as well. The reason I'm here is because I care deeply about our military and our veterans. I come from a family of service. My uh, whole family has been in the service and uh, this is something that's very important to me and one of the regrets I have having spent so much time in medical training is, is that I didn't have time to go in and to serve. So this is my opportunity to give back. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you. really appreciate your time. Secretary of the Department of Veterans Affairs David Shulkin. Thank you. Great. We will have more with Dr. Shulkin tomorrow on EWTN News Nightly, including we're going to drill down into veteran suicide and the importance of pastoral care in the VA.